Hey there, my name is Cody Schwabe, and if you've never seen any of my videos, that doesn't matter. Um, I, in this video, and this video is actually probably the most important video I've ever done, and whether you know me or not, I really hope that it speaks to someone, that if you watch it and it means something to you, please share it with someone else, okay? Um, this video is going to be in three parts. It's basically about leaving your job, uh, following your passion, and kind of your life person purpose and my goal in life from what I found okay so the main topic about this video is quitting your job to follow a dream or a passion um, or your ambitions however whatever you want to call it um, a few months ago right after Christmas um, I used to work at a satellite um, installation company it, and the job paid pretty well. I mean, it was over $20 here in Arizona, so it was pretty good here. Um, and, you know, I worked a lot, but I, after a while, the company kind of went, I would say, south, right? Customer service dropped. They got bought out by a different company. Um, you can probably figure out who it is, but I won't say. And things just changed at work. They didn't really get any better. Um, people hated the company. I didn't really like some of the people I worked with because they would not pick up work and it forced everyone else to uh, pick up work as well. So I was dealing with a lot of frustration at work. And yes, that happens at every job. I get that. I totally understand. Every job has its stresses. Every job um, has its issues. So it's not like I'm just crying about it. You know, I was, I was frustrated and it really took a toll on me mentally. Well, it kept working, but at the same time, um, I was looking to kind of start my own business. And I've been feeling that way for probably over a year. And I've, I've been self-employed many times over the past few years, but some of it's successful, some of it not. And I've done a lot of different things. Um, anyway, I was frustrated at work and I started seeing a lot of things about, um, like online about starting a business and being a consultant, uh, like a digital marketing consultant. Basically, I would consult for businesses on how they can increase their online presence through like social media and internet marketing and stuff like that. And I already had experience with that, so I was like, oh, that's perfect. I'll just, you know, I'm going to screw this place. I'm going to leave, and um, and I'm going to go start my consulting business. Now, a couple of things to note. First off, I didn't put in my two weeks. I just left. I have seven kids and a wife, and my wife is diabetic. So I had insurance and stuff through... Um, through my job, which I left, and I, you know, obviously I have all these kids to support, and um, I just thought I was, and I was tired of working a lot of hours that I was kind of forced to work, like I didn't have a set time. We started a date, and then we just went home whenever the work was done, and some days you got home really early, some days you didn't get home till nine o'clock at night. And it was frustrating because there was people not doing their work, getting to go home early, and everybody else had to pick up the slack. And it seemed like there was nothing anyone would do about it. They said they couldn't, but they just, I don't know. It was frustrating. But anyway, so I inevitably left that job. I just packed my stuff up in my van, took it to the shop, and left it there and called my supervisor and said, I'm out. Um... And I was like so set on this consulting thing. I was going to become a digital marketing consultant because I had experience with that. And if you watch my other videos, you'll see that I talk about that, that, um, that that's what I left my job to do. So I quit my job to follow my passion or my dream. Um, I even spent my retirement, thousands of dollars, in buying courses to help me become a better uh, salesman and marketer. So I spent what money I had, I guess, accrued over the last few years working at that company. I spent that on um, training to be a consultant. I bought courses and stuff, and the courses were, were fine. They were good. They had good content. Um, and I had everything I technically needed to to start my consulting business. Um, and I started trying to reach out to clients, um, you know, different businesses. And I cold called and emailed and, you know, talked to people who own businesses. And it's like, 
no matter who I talked to, nobody was interested or they already had someone. And I'm sure that if I kept going and going and going for months, I could have eventually, you know, found those people. And, you know, some people would say that I quit. I probably did, right? I gave up. But in doing that, I felt uncomfortable, right? Like I knew the digital marketing stuff, but I just didn't like the aspect of trying to force people to see my way of um, thinking, you know, I had gotten scripts from my programs and I used them and I just hated it. And, um, I kept trying to do it and it just, something about it felt off, um, in the whole thing. And my point out of leaving my work to follow my passion is that I'm, I did it rashly. Um, I, you know, like I said, I just kind of quit my job and my wife was pissed for a long time for probably a good couple months uh, into February. And, uh, you know, she tried to hide it, but I could tell. And she just went along with it because my wife loves me and she's very supportive. And, you know, I think it took her a long time to kind of forgive me. Right. And I don't blame her. And um, and part of the like after a couple months of trying to get these clients I realized that I just wasn't passionate about it I thought I was because I had experience in it but if I can give you an example of something you know if you ever watch Gary Vee I mentioned him in some of my other videos he talks about like you know it's that thing that you wake up thinking about it's that thing that you want to do every day well Honestly, I didn't want to do digital marketing every day. I just kind of thought that digital marketing was the thing I wanted to do because I had done it before. Um, but it wasn't. So I was kind of in this weird place for a couple of weeks where I was debating what I should do. Should I go back to work? Should I try to, um, should I just try to make it work anyway, even though I really didn't like it? Um, I mean, I'd spent all this money. You know, what do I do? And it looked bad to the people around us because I wasn't working and we have all these kids. Now, we had some money coming in to kind of compensate, but it's it's really not enough. Like, even at this point, um, you know, our income doesn't exceed our outcome, so our outgo or whatever you want to call it. So we've had to get assistance from, from people and places. And I hate to admit that. I, I It basically shames me to admit that, but like to be honest with you guys like to be honest with anyone that's considering just leaving their job and following their passion uh, another thing i would say is that there is always more to it than you think it's not as easy as just leaving and getting into something there's a lot of steps and there's a lot of steps you can overlook and think like in being blindsided i should say because i was listening to a lot of like motivational speakers at the time and they're all like oh yeah you should follow your passion you should do this you know what's stopping you you're you know you're not living the life you deserve and all these other things and I was like yeah that's me that's me I was blindsided and um I thought because I made it work before I could make it work again but it was different before like I just worked for an online company I was talking I was actually talking to real online business or real physical businesses this time and and it was slightly different but anyway my point is is like I realized that the passion I left my job for was not the passion I wanted. I didn't think about it every day, or at least I didn't want to do it every day. So leading into my next point, um, a lot of people think, they're, they're, people are almost always in two places, right? They're either in this place of what is the purpose of my life or you know, what is my passion, what do I want to do the rest of my life? Or they are in something they think is their passion, and really is not their passion, and they don't really like the thing that they do. Okay, so you, maybe you're in a job that you don't like. You know, that's not your passion. Um, well, I was kind of in the point of both of those, and it's at that time, kind of in a frustrated mode that I was in, um, that, you know, I thought that I was following my passion, and I realized I wasn't, right? I really didn't... Um, I really wasn't passionate about digital marketing. I knew it and I could and I can do it and I've been helping people on the side, but I didn't want to do that for a business. Like I just didn't want to do it. I thought I did and I you know, it kind of depressed me um thinking about that that I left my job to do this business that I didn't even want to do. So I didn't I just gave it up. Um 
So for a while I was kind of, you know, starting to look for jobs again. And I'm, I actually still am. Um, but coming to my point, um, I actually did discover my passion. So I used to think, and I think even in my last video or one of my last videos, I talked about you just need to pick something and go with it. Well, I was doing that and I found that I hated it. I thought that I could give that advice. You just got to pick something and go with it. You just got to do it. And um, it's not that easy. And I'm sorry to anyone that ever heard me say that. You just pick something and go. Just go, 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 go. I went through so many things of thinking that I wanted to do. I wanted to be a motivational speaker. I wanted to be a video, like I wanted to do vlogging. I wanted to do the, you know, the digital marketing consultant. You know, I wanted to do, uh, I don't know, I wanted to write. Um, I wanted to do a lot of things. And I've actually done a lot of those things, um, off and on, but I've never stuck with one thing because I never found that one thing that made me so happy that I thought about that I wanted to do every single day of my life. And I thought that you just had to pick something and go with it and grind your teeth, you know, even if you didn't like it, because eventually maybe you would like it when you got successful, but it's not true. It's not. Um, no, the, so the passion that I found was in painting. And I have only painted one time in my life, and it was this little lighthouse thing. I actually have it, but I'm not going to go get it because I hate it. Um, and my teacher didn't like it. when I, I painted it for art school, and, you know, uh, my teacher didn't like it, and I didn't like it. And because of that, I just never painted again. Um, but we had my youngest daughter's birthday party about a month ago, and... You know, we just had all the kids painting, and just for fun, I was painting with them. And I don't know why, I just, I enjoyed it. <laughs> and I was just messing around. Um, and we had kind of painted for a Mother's Day thing a while back, and I, I found that it was relaxing, that I really liked it, and I just didn't equate it until then. And then um, I watched a video by H3H3 Productions, and it was a satirical video called How to Make Modern Art. And the video is funny, but they talked about Jackson Pollock. And they started showing his work. And I, and after that video, I was like, well, that's really cool. And I think I'd seen it before, but I didn't know who he was. So I started researching Jackson Pollock. And uh, I really thought that his style of, of painting was really cool. The action painting or gestural abstraction, whatever you want to call it. And um, I just thought the whole abstract art thing was really cool. And I started researching, and um, I went out, and I was like, I could do this. You know, I think I could do this. <laughs> and it's not just because abstract is easy, per se, but because I enjoy being creative, but sometimes super structure just bothers me. Like, for me, if you're going to be creative, let loose, you know? But that's just me. So I, um, I started painting, and I cannot ex explain or describe um, how much I enjoy painting. And again, this isn't about me. This is about the fact that it took me so many things, almost 30 years. I'm almost 30. It took me almost 30 years to find my passion, to find the thing that I love to do. And I, w I would do it for money or not. Like I haven't made any money off of it yet, but people are interested. And if you go to my site, this is not a promotion. I'm just saying, if you go to my site, you'll see the work that I've done. I'm actually going to show you a few pieces right now. Um, well, it took me 30 years to find a passion, and this is the thing that I, I think about painting now every single day, literally, and it's the one thing I want to talk about, it's the one thing that I don't find as work, like I want to do it like all the time, and if I could make this my full-time passion, awesome, in fact, I'm going to show you my work, just a few pieces, and uh, if you know, if you're interested in, in seeing how I do it, even though I don't think that I'm an expert after about a month of doing it, uh, then let me know. I would I would show you how I do it. But I, I my goal now, so I I'm still looking for work. To be honest, like I I left my job for my passion, and it really humbled me, because I found out that my passion wasn't my passion. You know, I left a job that. I did grow to hate, but that doesn't mean I should have just left it. So the key takeaway out of all this is that, one, don't just leave your job, okay? I know that 
sometimes we get that grass is greener mentality. Maybe it is. Maybe you are meant to start your own business. Do it in increments, please. Like, don't just up and leave your, your company. I mean, you hear these success stories, but a lot of times, you know, for all the success stories you hear about, you don't hear about all those people who didn't make it or the people who just up and left their, their jobs and they lost everything. You don't hear about that, right? We just hear the overnight success stories. They're not as common as you think. Please, just please believe me. Do it in increments. I'm not saying don't start your own business, follow your passion, whatever. But do it in increments. You can do it on the side. You can do it in your spare time. You can, If you care enough, you'll find the time, okay? The second thing is, is that if you don't have your passion or the thing that you want to do the rest of your life, that's okay. Um, I guess it takes a while to find it. I thought you just had to pick something and go with it, but now... I'm a believer that if you have that thing that you care about more than life itself, besides people, um, you'll know. You'll know. So let me let me show you a few pieces. Only a few. Um, you, you probably saw a part of it in the background, but I'm going to show you some of the first. These are the first three sets that I made. Not not that one. My wife made that. But so this is this is the first piece that I ever made. It's called duality, and then this is. Um, let me try to angle this better. This one is called Redemption, and uh, it's very clearly a cross, right? Um, I just have a thing for crosses. I love Jesus. Um, and then this one right here is called the Night Scraper, okay? So those are the first three that I did. Um, and then this one right here is called uh, Purple Torrent, and you can see that it's like, well, almost like a purple torrent, right? Um, that one is actually one that I made for my wife. You can see like a sheet. There's actually more artwork up there, but I'm, I'm not going to take it down. Um, and then here, so I'll show you this piece. Um, this is Eye of the Rift. This is actually one of my favorite small pieces. And then this one I made yesterday. Um, this one is Valor. And yeah, I kind of like white and black, yellow, red, and... Red, white, yellow, and black, and blue. Uh, the primaries plus black and white. But this one right here, the ties that bind, it's hard, it's weird for me to move the camera like this, but this piece right here is actually my favorite piece. It's, it's hands down the best piece I've done since I started painting. Um, uh, there's another one that my wife did. But anyway, um, my point is, is, you know, it took me 30 years to find out what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Now, if I have to get a job to support my family, cool, which I'm already in the process of trying to do. But if I can sell paintings like that for hundreds and do that for the rest of my life, I would be so grateful, right? Now, here's the thing. My life direction. Well, I plan on working to take care of my family, and I plan on painting until I become good enough to paint but I want to do it in increments. So I'm not going to just screw my family over again. Um, I plan on trying to make this full time. Like I would love to paint full time and sell my paintings and make a living that way. In fact, if you want to buy some, check out my site, CodySchwabe.com. I'd be willing to uh, not sell the originals, but I'd make you some similar ones on, on some of these. Uh, the rest are for sale. Um, but uh, actually, my goal in life, and uh, it seems kind of arrogant, I guess, but I don't mean it like that. I just wish to do this. My goal is to be better than Jackson Pollock. Not like Jackson Pollock, better than Jackson Pollock. Actually, more, more well-known or uh, to sell more than him or just to be, just to take his style and even amp it up. And I don't know if that's possible especially after only doing this for a month. But um, that's my goal, is to make him proud, but also to uh, to be the next Jackson Pollock, I guess. That's my goal. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful or just found it honest, please just share it with somebody, like one person who's in that boat of, oh, I need to follow my passion, or you know, I think that I need to leave my job for some other opportunity right away. Um, or, you know, I don't know what, what I'm going to do with my life. I don't know what my purpose is. 
who knows? Like sometimes I guess you just don't know for a long time. That doesn't mean you give up trying. Okay. You don't just quit searching. Again, I've tried a lot of different things. I've started different businesses and uh, it took me this long to figure out what I, what I should be doing. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for your time. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. God bless and have a good rest of your day.